Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Singapore Track Guide and Setup. I'll be showing you how to gain some lap time here in Singapore. It's a very nice track, very technical, of course. A lot of downforce needed here. Uh, basically, 50-50 wings. There's no need to run any lower than that. But yeah, um, a lot of high speed corners and low speed corners, surprisingly. Uh, so you will need quite a good balance in your car. So let's get into the track guide first and then we'll go into the setup. What you can do with the setup uh, to make it a little bit quicker, right? Because no matter how good you drive, there's always something in the setup that is going to make your overall lap time much better. And finally, thank you to all channel members and subscribers as well. Hope you enjoy this track guide and setup. Leave a like, subscribe, smash the like button and uh, i'll see uh, what we can do for this track guide so um yeah uh to start the lap and to end the lap it's pretty much the same you look for the orange mark about on the right and that's your turning in point in qualifying flat there you go in the race you just need to downshift and lift to fifth but into turn one now spot the 50 meter board or the blackboard just before it break at that point and then down to fourth gear for the first corner here and yeah launch the car over the curbs this is on 120 fps and it still works perfectly second corner here ride it third corner on the exit make sure your car is straightened out as quick as possible now turn four spot that little painted curb the red and white curb that's your braking and turning in point and then you want to be breaking in a straight line and launch it once again over the curb here so in fourth gear you can also drive around the curb it's also equally good uh, depending on how you want to drive it on the exit open up drs keep your car tight to the right hand side and for qualifying you can actually leave it in seventh gear uh, you don't gain much time from going up to eighth either and uh, my breaking point here is as the gap between this uh, this two barrier end and before the 50 meter board and on the exit use all the curb and now for the next part in sector 2 spot that 50 meter board on the top left brake and turn in avoid touching that curb on the inside but start picking up throttle as soon as you can once again uh, it's going to be a kind of corner where you have to carry momentum from one to another and same for this corner there you go and on the exit just make sure you don't hit the wall and here george russell corner hopefully your dreams don't end here brake just before the 50 meter board and just a light tap on the brakes down the fourth gear or third keep the car tight and as soon as the car is straightened out for one moment that's where you're going to be lightly on the brakes down the third if you need to or you can even keep it in fourth and take a lot of inside curve which will open up your left hander here and will help you to open up this right hander as well which will help you to open up the next left hander which is coming up a lot of momentum to be carried here and on the exit third gear gives you a better traction open up drs and bring your car over to the left hand side prepare to break right after the 100 meter board so i like to break around 70 meter ish and on the entry make sure you're tight on the exit loosen up the car and let it straighten out and use all the track uh, width that you have that wide line is the track limit stay tight to the left to minimize track distance and we arrive at one more important corner here just before the 50 meter board that's where you're going to be braking and turning in right after that take it in fourth gear and launch it over the first curb this will help you to open up the second apex the second left hander so let's see there's two different ways you can take the next left hander my preferred way you can take this curb in the dry or you can even completely avoid it if you take it like i do it will drag you outwards and that's going to help you to actually carry the momentum surprisingly it works uh, you can even completely avoid this curb and it's going to be about the same lap time and to finish up your lap just turn and pray and the car goes into the apex across the line there you go that is a lap around singapore 126.2 which is still about about over a second away from the world record but you know this is more of a race setup not really going for world records here 
and let's get into the setup so if you need to take a look back at the track guide please make sure you pause and take a look at all the corners and there's also going to be a full speed hot lap after this let's get into the setup first which is 50 50 wins like i said <laughs> no surprise no secret here you want to use maximum downforce which is going to be helpful in the race also and also in the rain so if it's going to be raining around singapore yeah good luck uh, this is definitely going to help you out um, but uh, yeah there's no point going any lower transmission 100 on the on throttle to give you the best traction out of corners especially the slow corners and keeps the car relatively planted when you are trying to accelerate out of the slower corners in higher speed corners you can use 80 or 90 or somewhere in between up to you engine braking also at 100 percent to slow down the car as quick as possible and minimum off throttle to allow the car to stop uh, much easily and turn much easily now that's going to give you a lot of time on the entry suspension geometry is all minimum uh, this is going to give you best um, best grip and turn in and we arrive at suspension where as usual we do our magic so we start off with the front suspension where it's full stiff here 41 uh, it sounds dumb but it still works somehow i've tried lowering it to 39 it's also going to work but you can't go any lower than 35 34 i think that's where it starts to get unstable and you definitely need to raise your right height if you lower your front suspension so with 41 front suspension you can run as low as 20 front right height it's still pretty good on all the curves here as you saw just now uh, similarly for the rear right height and the rear suspension i'm running it on 55 rear right height to give me good amount of grip on the rear and 12 rear suspension just is a good amount to stop the rear from flexing too much uh, on the ex uh, on the exit 21 21 on the anti-roll bars is the best way to go 21 on the front keeps the car very stable on entry 21 on the rear allows the rear to rotate on the entry and on the exit as well but it's going to be a little bit unstable with 21 rear anti-roll bar you can try to use 19 or 18 to be a little bit more stable uh, 22 60 right height is a bit safer if you want to use and go for it i'll leave that option in the description for you to check out later brakes 155 as usual you can use 56 or 57 for high speed uh, heavy braking and tire pressures they are maximum you can use maybe half a psi or one psi less to heat up the tires a bit quicker in qualifying but it heats up quite easily around here in singapore anyway so maximum pressures helps you to reduce tire overheating and there you go that is the setup that i'm using around singapore hope you have a good time with this and uh, let me know how it went leave like subscribe and uh, i'll leave you with the full speed hot lap to enjoy right after this thank you once again take care stay safe and goodbye